can you be orchid sexual and egosexual? There are no dumb questions here, and yes you can. So orchid sexual describes folks who experience sexual attraction but don't want a sexual relationship. And egosexual describes folks who have a comfort level with the idea of sex, thinking about it, enjoying content about it, but are not comfortable with the idea of actually having it. So yes, those two experiences can overlap and exist simultaneously. Remember, this language isn't intended to be one and done. If multiple labels fit your experience, you can use multiple labels. You can use as many as you'd like. This language was invented to describe very complicated experiences with sexual attraction and with sex itself. So if it takes more than just the one to really get what you're experiencing and to really be able to communicate that to others, that's great. Let's talk about Orchid Sexual. Orchid Sexual is a label for someone who feels sexual attraction, but doesn't want or feel comfortable with sexual encounters or relationships. Orchid Sexual falls under the gray sexual umbrella and is a micro-label. The same is true with Orchid Romantic, which is where someone feels romantic attraction but has no desire to be in a romantic relationship or encounter. Orchid Sexual is not, despite how it may seem by the name, made to mock the LGBTQ plus community like the plant sexual people a few years back. Let me know what you think in the comments. What other unpopular identities should I cover? Yesterday, can I ever try to pull an for me? Because I told him Jessica Albert's my wife to be. This rock star is life for me. And all the other guys just despise me because these chicks don't even know the name. I be popping bottles, sparkles and champagne. VIP my section, royalty looking sexy, you know that be my man. Lately I've been hearing people talk about something called orchid sexual, which is on the ace spectrum. Orchid sexual is defined as somebody on the ace spectrum who does experience sexual attraction but does not want to consummate that in any way. And the first time that I heard about this uh, particular variety of asexual, it, it hit me hard. I really related to it. But every time it comes up, there's somebody in the comments somewhere erasing people who identify with this and erasing their experience. And I get it. It's weird. That's how I feel about my sexuality. It's fucking weird. Like, you know how there are people who um, can't define their gender, right? And so they will like use a word or an adjective or an entire story or something. That's kind of how I feel about my sexuality. I feel attraction to people and sometimes I want to make out with people, but I do not want to touch their bits. I do not want them to touch my bits. I do not want my bits to touch their bits. And I'm not even saying that like this will never happen. Perhaps I will someday find somebody who I want to have that relationship with. But on the whole, I don't. But it's also not a matter of like just not having like a high sex drive. Because unfortunately, my body has needs and it demands that I meet those needs sometimes. And it's very annoying to me because it means nothing. It's just another bodily function. It's just another fucking chore. So basically my sexuality is no sexuality, but sometimes sexuality, but no acting on sexuality, but body wants sexuality, but I don't really want sexuality. That's like, how do you, but the thing that lets me know that I am in fact ace and I absolutely belong on the ace spectrum, whether or not I experience some sexual attraction, is that I have like a disconnect, right? Like I don't have a port in my brain for where to plug in the like sexy drive. Like there's just no place for it. Like I just do not connect with it. There is in fact a distinct disconnect between myself and sex. Like it's just, it's just, it, 
no communication. It just doesn't exist. It's just not happening. So it's been a journey. It's been a journey to get here. And I don't even know if I personally relate to Orchid Sexual. I don't really know the history of it or where it came from. I just know my initial like uh, feelings when I first saw myself recognized somewhere. But what I want to say to other ace people, it doesn't invalidate you. I know there's always going to be ignorant people who try and erase your experience, but you are not going to make that better by erasing my experience. Be better. Thank you.